you know. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. I'm Desi Brown, and I am, by day, I'm the head of digital programming for Genius Productions, and that's the uh, production company for Marseille Martin, uh, the actor, producer, most known for Blackish, and uh, also executive producer of the movie Little. Well, um, I'm happy to be speaking with you all today. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about establishing your dream space online. Now, what people know me for is for being a connector. I'm the one that can connect you to places, to people, to opportunities. Uh, I've been blessed to uh, not only uh, work in entertainment and just the industry period, but I've been around for almost 20 years and I've been blessed to, you know, travel the world with uh, radio legend per, uh, personality Tom Joyner from the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Um, I also uh, have worked uh, with Super Bowl champions such as uh, in football, such as Martellus Bennett and Michael Bennett. And, um, and also, I currently do some work with UFC champion Kamaru Usman. And, um, and I, I do, on a consistent basis, I'm really big on networking. And I, from time to time, I host an event called Networking for Net Worth. And it's truly important to try to connect with people, uh, whether that's in person or online as we are today. So when you're online, um, like if you're, if you're doing a networking event online, there are advantages and some disadvantages to that. Uh, one advantage to networking online is the fact that you can record the presentation like we're doing now. Uh, and you also have an opportunity to kind of, you know, utilize your Google. You know, most young people and people in general have cell phones and we like to look up random things and, uh, you know, what's the latest and greatest in fashion. But you should also be utilizing your phone uh, to look up information. So uh, as you're going through this program today, you'll see a lot of names, you'll see a lot of rooms that you can join. Uh, definitely take the time out to Google each person that's uh, speaking before you. Uh, whenever I get ready to go to an event in person or online as we are today, I will usually kind of look up the speaker. Um, I'm really big on LinkedIn. So I utilize LinkedIn quite a bit. I actually just joined uh, LinkedIn, made me a part of their new uh, creator uh, program. And so uh, what we do with that program is uh, LinkedIn is, has always been around in the social media space, but it's always been kind of stuffy. And so the reason um, that it, they're creating a creator program now is because people are showing a little bit more of their personality throughout LinkedIn. Uh, that's actually how I connected with even getting an opportunity to be a part of this. And, um, but yeah, through LinkedIn, you want to make sure you have an updated resume. You want to make sure that uh, you have a good headshot. Uh, good photos, definitely always keep it professional. Uh, but as I said about ut utilizing research, uh, it's important to know, you know, what people do and, and what they're looking for. Um, also, in utilizing other social media, you have to be careful. There's a great uh, uh, former NFL and college coach by the name of Herm Edwards. Uh, and when he talks to young people, uh, he always says, don't press send. So you want to just think it through uh, before you're posting, you know, different things on Twitter or on your Instagram or TikTok or Snapchat. You want to just make sure that you're posting the right things, because nowadays, uh, if you get ready to go on to a job interview, uh, they will not only look at your resume, uh, they'll also reach out to a couple of people that may know you from teachers to counselors to you know, like if you have a football coach or anything like that, they're also going to reach out to those people and they're also going to search you online. And you would hate for um, an op you to lose an opportunity because of something you said last year or five years ago. You, and even though you press delete on social media, it, it's never really completely gone. Hey, uh, uh, Justin, uh, welcome. Thank you for checking in. Um, yeah, but, uh, but, and then 
another key thing to think about uh, as you also talk about social media is finding how and to utilize uh, mentors. I'm really big on mentors, mentorship, uh, because, and you can have like actual mentors that you are in communication with. And then you can ha also have people that you kind of look up to from afar. Uh, I'm really big on entrepreneurship. And so over the years, uh, some people that I look up to are people such as uh, Diddy, uh, Dame Dash, uh, Jay-Z, uh, more recently, a uh, Kevin Hart. And, you know, and so I try to look up a lot of interviews with them so you can kind of get that mindset and, and find out what people are thinking. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, lots of people have cell phones and, you know, we use them for social media and to play and things like that, but make sure you're using it for the proper research. If, uh, for instance, uh, you're looking to be uh, a vet, then you may want to try to find some popular or some uh, well-respected vets in your neighborhood, in your city, and then also look up some on the internet as well that may be uh, you know, very successful in other areas. And then you can kind of, you know, nowadays with podcasts and YouTube and different things like that, you can usually find out a little bit more information on people, or you can maybe even able to find uh, some interviews on them. So you can kind of see what they did in order to get where they are. Uh, I'm a person that uh, I love history and I love finding out about things and I love uh, opportunities to kind of know like where people come from um and and the journey is is really really important so um for, uh wow well, hello mikhail thank you for coming in as well um i know i've been i've been talking a lot about you know using utilizing social media been talking a little bit about mentorship uh i'd like to know justin and mikhail what are you interested in uh going forward um you can just type it in the chat and, uh, and I can respond to it. Um, <clears throat> I also, um, while I'm here, I also love to speak about, um, usually when I, when I go and speak to students, whether that's in college or whether that's in grade school or high school, I always talk about the game beyond the game uh, without breaking the sweat. So in most urban communities, a lot of youth wanna either, they say they wanna go pro, in basketball or football, or they want to do music, they want to be a rapper or a singer or anything like that. Okay, poetry, that's great. Um, you know, those activities are really, really good, but you also want to think about a holistic approach to it. Like say, for instance, if you're a basketball player, you may be really good, but for whatever reason, you may have an injury. Now, if you were to look at, you know, a, excuse me? No, go ahead. <laughs> okay. If you were looking at a pro team, uh, I know you guys are in New York. So say you were looking at the Knicks or the Nets. Um, now you can have a passion for basketball, but going pro may not be possible. Uh, so you want to think about other jobs that you can quote unquote go pro in that don't involve you actually being on the court. Uh, as I said earlier, I've been blessed to travel around the world go to Super Bowls, go to UFC championship bouts, everything like that. Um, but I wasn't the star. I just worked with the star. So if you had a passion for basketball, you could be the GM of the Brooklyn Nets. You could be a coach for the New York Knicks. You could do marketing for the Knicks. You could, you know, um, you could even be an announcer for the Yankees or, or whatever it may be. So just think about the different um, avenues that you have available to you um, because at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you have that backup plan. Um, and then... Uh, I have a question, Desi. Okay. So we talk about networking and marketing. How do you get started, right? Because it's pretty easy to say, let's, you know, you should network, you should... What are like the basic steps just to get started as we talk about networking and marketing? Yeah, so to, to get started, the first thing I do is, uh, is, is research. If I'm going into a new city, uh, for instance, um, I'm actually speaking on a panel 
uh, this weekend in Memphis. So I have to travel to Memphis. Now, I went to Memphis as a kid and in college as well. But as an, you know, later on, I don't have as many contacts in Memphis as I used to. So I may go on something like Eventbrite. I may go on LinkedIn and just try to Google events that are coming up in Memphis or whatever city I'm going to, and then just try to really do some research. Um, most people are really a lot more friendly and a lot more open if you're open to reaching out and if you present yourself correctly. Um, you know, I wasn't familiar with this uh, organization, but once uh, once we messaged back and forth, uh, we had a, you know, we were able to establish a good rapport. And then here I am before you all today. Uh, Thanks for that, because I think we always need that step one, right? Mm -hmm. We all know we hear these terms, but what do they mean when you try to break them down? Because I, I like to think of things that the first thing is to reach out, like you said, mm -hmm. um, is to get onto LinkedIn and look at people, see what they're talking about and join the conversation, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, and I'm based in Dallas. And so um, the another reason that I utilize LinkedIn and doing research is because each market is kind of different. So if you're interested in finding out about something, it could be uh, whether it's new technologies such as uh, NFTs and Bitcoin and um, uh, Web3, virtual reality, augmented reality. There's definitely some research there. So you can go to YouTube and by all means, don't just look at one video or one article and think that you're an expert. You have to actually kind of search around a little bit and then you can, you know, uh, kind of have more of an opinion uh, once you've actually did the research. So uh, any other questions? Let me look at YouTube University. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I definitely utilize that. Uh, let's see, poetry. So, so I see a lot of uh, poetry, performing arts. So uh, when you think about that, um, I recently just worked on a project with uh, Marseille Martin. Uh, she's the actress and producer um, uh, that was featured on Blackish uh, a few days ago, July 18th um, was Mandela Day. So I worked on a project with YouTube uh, for Mandela Day. Now, if you're not familiar with Nelson Mandela, he was a, an amazing man, amazing activist. And so July 18th was his birthday. And on his birthday every year uh, in the UK, they like to celebrate by paying it forward. And so this particular year, uh, they did a project and brought in Marseille. Um, and so we shot it in Atlanta and she actually met a young poet uh, and she was really good because she wrote a lot of poetry, but she really wasn't familiar with actually performing it on stage. And so during that uh, episode, it's a short film that you can find on YouTube if you just Google Marseille Martin and Mandela Day. I may try to drop the link in the chat, especially since we have uh, some poets here. But, you know, you just want to look at different ways to express yourself through poetry and through writing, you know, um, I really like uh, Langston Hughes and, you know, and, and different people like that. So um, definitely keep on with it. And it's a way to not only express yourself, but to get things off your chest as well. Uh, do we have any other questions uh, here about networking or about um, augmented reality or virtual reality or anything like that? Um, is, wait, is there going to be any jobs for like programming? So uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, how old are you? 16. Okay. Yeah. So um, so I guess within the organization, they can kind of give you more details on uh, job opportunities and things like that. But one thing that I will tell you, if you're into technology, uh, recently I was in Atlanta and I had a big meeting with uh, Meta. Meta is the new name and the parent company of Facebook. And so uh, I had a, a meeting with them because we're doing some things with Marseille in the metaverse. And they were telling me that what's happening now is there at some point soon, there will be so many jobs in technology, but there may not be available workforce for those jobs. 
So if you're interested in technology um, and world building, it's extremely important to look up um, Unity. Unity is the platform, is the world building platform that produced Fortnite. And then if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft owns Roblox. And then of course, with Facebook, you have Meta and the metaverse. So world building is gonna be an, a big opportunity, a big career opportunity, if you start learning how to use those tools. And that's why if you've ever seen Roblox or if you've ever seen uh, anything like that, um, there are opportunities to you, you can actually kind of start building out worlds and like Nike just uh, not too long ago, I guess it's been about six months now, but Nike has a whole world in Roblox. Uh, Paris Hilton, uh, does a lot of events within the metaverse. Snoop Dogg is getting into the metaverse. So you just want to make sure that you have the skill set um, as these new opportunities come. And I try to be on the at the uh, intersection of culture and technology. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. Uh, I do want to say in response to that question, if you are based in New York City, one place that I know trains for tech jobs is Marcy Labs. They're actually gonna be presenting in an upcoming session here. So look out for them. They actually work with young people who don't have a four-year degree to get the skills necessary. And their goal is to um, skill up so that they're life-sustaining wages. It's not just like an entry-level position. So if you go to marcylabs.com, um, you can get more information. And also if you're in the um, knowledge house is really big. You can, you know, that's just to give you an idea. It's actually simply called the knowledge house. Um, Desi was mentioning Nike. I know one of the presenters we have is from a company called Marketed. If you're in creative, they do design for sneakers and he's actually just started Pencil University, which I think is sponsored by Nike. So talk about networking. I've just been doing a lot of research because I hear those questions all the time. Where do I get started? Contact, there are a lot of local resources in the New York area. Um, you know, check out these websites. You can, like I said, um, if you're an SYEP as well, the people who are running the SYEP programs can give you additional links for that. So I hope, I hope that helps for the New York area, for the folks in the New York area. Yeah. And, and, I, and I love that you mentioned, you know, even brands and, and like even like a Nike, like you think of Nike and you only think of, you know, shoes and fashion, but there are also, you know, available jobs in technology for Nike there, you know, um, you can be a graphic designer and end up designing shoes for Nike. It's just so many different opportunities. And, you know, even within the gaming space, um, uh, I work with a, a guy named Danny Martin out in Dallas, and he recently just partnered with Dallas ISD and Fort Worth ISD to help take um, gaming into the curriculum in the schools. So there are and there are really really big opportunities there. Uh, he also uh, recently uh, actually made the curriculum for SMU Southern Methodist University in Dallas, uh, and so now they're offering courses in um, in gaming. And you know, so there are just many many different opportunities like. Uh, within the gaming and the technology space. Uh, do we have any other questions while we're here? Hello, Majorie. Yes, uh, I have a question. Creating your dream space online, what does that mean to you? So I look at my, so I'm really big on personal branding, right? So any, so your space can be, whether you're utilizing social media, whether you're utilizing LinkedIn, which is, you know, social media as well, but you just want to make sure your dream space is clear and it's concise, in my opinion. So if you're wanting to network online and you want to utilize your Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, especially if you're getting into work, um, you want to just be mindful of what it looks like on the outside looking in 
And also you want to think about how you look at someone's page, right? So if you're trying to get into the work workforce and, you know, I usually will tell clients to put real things on the page and put play things in the story. Because if, you, if you're thinking about your story on Instagram, that goes away in 24 hours. Of course, it's probably out there somewhere in the world, but for the most part, it goes away. So if you, if you go to my Instagram or you go to my LinkedIn, I try to present it a certain way. So that way uh, it's open for business and it doesn't look like, okay, someone wanted to reach out to me with a business um, opportunity. And then they looked at my page and I had weapons on there. or I had, you know, videos that were maybe not becoming. Uh, so you just want to be careful with that. So I'm really big on my personal brand. And that's what, you know, having my dream space online means to me. Thank you. That makes sense. I appreciate that. Yeah, Justin, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So just before we wrap up, because we have to go back to the main stage. And thank you, Desi, for talking about this. I so wish we had more time because these are these are things we could pick apart and just talk about um, so much. And I really appreciated the questions that were being put out there. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, I think the important thing is to reach out to community based organizations within your area, because there are so many CBOs in the New York area who can guide you in the right direction. Um, the SYP is providing an excellent opportunity for young people to get guidance. So absolutely reach out to the program providers, your counselors, ask them what's going on because you know we are invested in helping young adults find their way and explore paths, You know, not just find one way because there are multiple ways to actually get to your path. So yeah. Desi, again, I want to say thank you so much. Um, we definitely appreciate. Um, and thank you. you know, um, people should just go on and look at your LinkedIn um, <laughs> profile as well to get an idea of where you started. Um, because coming from the, you started networking at its most basic level and then took it to a whole new level. And right. that's what you know attracted me to inviting you to being a speaker because you lived it. What you're talking about is something you lived. So Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. And I put my uh, I put my Instagram in the chat. I put my name on LinkedIn in the chat. So uh, if you all have any further questions, definitely feel free to message me or connect with me or DM me. And you know, and I'm available for you all. And 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 definitely good luck. And I hope you have a great rest of the the day. Yes, absolutely. Thank you again, Desi. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Absolutely. I, when, when you start doing these in person, I'd love to come to New York. Oh, yeah. We're going to go big next year. Our CEO, Marjorie, right there, you know, she, she's ready to go big on this. Barclays Center is where we're going next. Oh, great. Yeah, I love, I love the Nets Arena. So, yeah, that's perfect. I'm glad I said that while she was on then. Perfect. <laughs> absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Darcy. Yes, Absolutely. I will connect with you via LinkedIn. Thank you so much. Yes, Sounds and good. Patricia, Mikkel, Angie, happy about to forgive me if I messed up your name, but we definitely appreciate you joining us. We're going to head back to the main stage. I'm going to close this room out now. <laughs>